Hi folks, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with my ML Class W164 chassis vehicle. And today we are going to be replacing the transfer case fluid in this vehicle. Now this is something you really should be doing every 50,000 kilometers or 40,000 miles if you really want to look after your vehicle. So this video is actually part of a series of videos which we've been filming on this vehicle where we replace every single fluid in the vehicle. We're naming the series front to back. We've done everything on top of the vehicle in the engine bay, starting with the radiator, through to the engine, the brakes, everything. And then we've jumped under the vehicle. We've done the front differential. Today, we're doing the transfer case. And in the future, you're gonna see the transmission and the rear differential. So if that's something you're interested in, do check out the playlist. But anyway, let's get into today doing the transfer case. So let's check out what parts, tools and consumables you're going to need to do this job. So obviously you're going to need an oil drip tray to catch all the oil that comes out of the transfer case. You're going to need a eight mil hex bit to remove the drain plug and the fill plug. I've also got a torque wrench to re-tighten those drain and fill plugs. We've got a couple of new copper seal rings on those drain and fill plugs just so they don't leak. We've got our automatic transfer case fluid. Now, this is actually the earliest specification. It's the MB236.12. I'll put that information in the description, but it's actually a red colored fluid in the traditional dyeing. This one I've got is actually a multi-purpose, so it's gold, but in the traditional dyes, as I said, it's typically red. I've got a transfer pump to put the fluid into the transfer case. I'm actually gonna use my Penrite little mate pump, which matches this bottle, so I don't have to transfer it out of the bottle into the pump, just, I'll just pump it straight out of the bottle. Makes it really easy. And we've just got some cloth to clean up any mess, and also before to clean up any dirt on the transfer case so we don't contaminate our new oil. Then, obviously, it's getting the car safely up off of the ground. We've got our jack, our jack stands, and a couple of wheel chocks. So we're going to start by putting the vehicle up onto jack stands, which I'm just going to do on time lapse because I've done this many times before on the channel. But if you do need a full description on how to safely put your ML class vehicle up onto jack stands, then check out the video in the description where I fully describe how to do this simply and safely. So folks, now that we've got the vehicle safely up onto jack stands, we can easily get underneath the vehicle, have a look at what we're doing, and importantly, work on the vehicle. Now, you can simply see we've got the engine transmission and then we've got the transfer case here. We can see this one's pretty clean, but we will just give it a wipe down anyway, just to make sure there's no debris, because after all, we are putting fresh fluid and the last thing we want to do is to contaminate the fresh fluid. Then we're going to remove the fill plug first. The reason is if we drain the fluid, we've got to make sure we can fill it back up. Then we'll remove the drain plug and drain it, drain it completely, then we'll pop the drain plug in with the new seal ring, as we see, we don't want it leaking. Talk it down to specification. Gotta be really careful not to over tighten because this is an aluminum housing. And then we'll fill it up with half a litre of fluid, check the level and then tighten it up. Okay, so let's start by undoing the fill plug. Get our eight mil hex firmly in there all the way and then just crack that. And so we've got that undone now. So we'll just take it out by hand. And we can see it's actually slightly overfilled, which is interesting. The fluid's a real dark color, so it definitely needs changing. And then with that fill plug undone, let's undo the drain plug. Yeah, we can see that fluid is definitely dark color. So absolutely recommend changing this fluid, you know, every 40,000 miles, every 50, 60,000 kilometers if you want to push it, just to extend the longevity of this transfer case. You know, it's half a liter of fluid. It's really cheap, folks, but it's something that I do believe is really overlooked. So folks, 
I really want to get all of the fluid out of this transfer case. You can see that still dripping there. So I'm just actually going to just leave this for half an hour or so. And we'll just come back once that dripping's really finished. Once we know that transfer case is completely empty. Okay, so now that that's finished draining, let's get these old copper seal rings off. Just pop those over there like that. And get this one off as well. Just give those drain plugs a thorough little clean up there. It really is only a couple of dollars to put new copper seal rings on, so you might as well grab new ones and just prevent any leaks. I'll chuck a proper Mercedes part number into the description of the video for these. So just pop those new ones on like that. And then we'll jump back under the vehicle and get those drain plug in and then we'll fill it up. Okay, so we start by chucking our drain plug in. Just screw that in by hand. Then we're gonna grab our torque wrench with our eight mil hex on it. It is either eight mil or five sixteenth if you don't have it in metric. And we set our torque wrench just to 25 Newton meters because it is an aluminum case. So we don't really don't want to over tighten it. If you don't have a torque wrench, just use your ratchet down like this. Don't use your full length because you will break your aluminum housing. So we can see we've got our torque wrench set on 25 there. Get that in, in nicely there. There we go. And we can. There we go. So they've got our 25. That's perfect. And now we will fill it up through the fill port. So we just grab our little mate pump. Convenience of this, as I said before, is that we can literally just pop this pump straight into this bottle and it actually extends down to meet the bottom of the bottle. So you just use that there like that. This is made for, I think, for the one litre or the two and a half litre bottles. So a little bit adaptable. So we'll just pop that in there, screw it in, and we can just pump that fluid straight out of the bottle. Don't have to transfer containers, just fantastic. So for now, we'll just pop that up there like that, or we'll jump under the vehicle. All right, so get our little mate pump, stick it in the fill plug. Like I said, this is only gonna take half a litre of fluid, and then we pump that away. See straight away that fluid's going in. As I said, this fluid is a gold color, but that's because this specific brand of oil, it goes across all the specifications of MB, both the blue and the red. It's a multi-purpose fluid. I, I use it for that purpose, just love it. So you don't have to get worried about which fluid you're actually using on these vehicles. But if you're using traditional fluids, it should be the red colored fluid from Mercedes that goes in here. The dot 12 fluid. As I said, all specifications of fluid will be in the description to the video. And there we go, you can see that's full now. So we'll take that out. Move our fluid out the way. And then we can pop our fill plug in. You can see that's just dripping now, so that's fine. And then we're gonna use our torque wrench and get this one to 25 as well. There we go, right on it there, folks. And we'll just double check the, the drain plug. Perfect. Just give it a wipe off and we are good to go. As I said, folks, really important not to over tighten these drain and fill plugs because this is an aluminum housing and if we break that, we're gonna be royally stuffed as a DIYer at home. So the final thing to do is to take the vehicle off of the jack stands. So there you go, folks. That's how to quickly, simply, and safely change the transfer case fluid in your Mercedes ML Class W164 chassis vehicle. 
If you have liked the video, give us a like, drop a comment below. We truly do appreciate and like reading through all of those comments. And as I said in the beginning, this video is actually part of a complete series of videos where we are changing every single fluid in the vehicle, front to rear. We've done most of it. All we've got left to do is the transmission and the rear differential. So jump onto that playlist if you're interested. Also on the channel, you'll find us maintaining and servicing other vehicles. We've got the Audi, the Mazda 3 and the early Ford Falcon. So if you're interested in learning about maintaining and repairing those vehicles, check out the channel as well. We also have a number of DIY content around the home. So do subscribe to the channel. But until next time, have a good evening.